Basically, this organization started back in 2010 um, under the presidency of uh, Casey Martin, who uh, graduated uh, last December. The Formula Hybrid team builds a vehicle that competes in the SAE Formula Hybrid competition, but its main goal is to provide an educational environment that's not provided in classrooms for all our members. We have four different majors uh, helping us out with the car. We've got the electrical, we've got uh, plastic skies, we've got AET, and the welding guys. They come to me with what's well, something to me, needs to be welded, and then they also come to me with questions of, of, of strength or uh, metallurgy problems. You know, if we use this type of material, can we weld it like this? Can we, can we fabricate it like that? And uh, basically, I give my uh, educated input and, uh, and my skill as welding to help put the car together. The really cool thing about um, Formula Hybrid is that it came from the students. Uh, they got together, a group uh, years, a couple years ago got together and decided that they wanted to do this. And then they began looking for a faculty advisor. We started off just uh, dump, literally dumpster diving for parts, sheet metal, components, everything we could basically scrap and potentially use. We'd steal stuff from the welding lab, go to their dumpster, whatever we can salvage. Most of the challenges is really locating funds and equipment for the team. It's, that's what really slows down the team. Like you don't have a bolt here or there, or we're missing a brake component or metal. Just a lot of downtime waiting for parts. Currently, um, the students have been doing a tremendous job uh, getting support and actually contacting companies. It's primarily donations through uh, companies they've contacted that has been, in, been funding it. We tracked out about roughly 14 sponsors. Uh, most of it is like all tracks for our um, the gauges. We got mechanics gloves to help us keep our members safe from scratches and cuts. We got Royal Purple for our powertrain and various other um, sponsors like Kiwit Energy Canada who just gave us a money donations. We're a grassroots kind of school. We're not you know, Ivy League, which we do compete against, so it's, it, any sponsorship is really appreciated. I'd say the biggest challenge out of anything is making sure everybody, again, has enough stuff to do. I mean, we don't know for sure how many people are going to come in, and half of the time we're in here other days when we're not officially meeting. So some days we'll have less people, some days we have more. We're in here just about seven times a week. If you're the president, you're in here almost every day for four or five hours because he's crazy like that. But most members are on a weekly basis are about here. Maybe they spend about 10 hours a week just in the lab fabricating or designing the uh, parts for the vehicle. We are the first team to use a diesel engine as our generator as well as using biodiesel as our fuel. Most of the mounts that you see on the vehicle for the tabs for the suspension, I created on a lathe and that's primarily where I am. I come in after the machine shop to help with assembly. They, uh, they didn't have a welder at the time that did it, and so it, it needed to be reworked, it needed to be cleaned out, and uh, that was my first task of, of grinding down and just making so that their appropriate welds were on the car to make it safe. Formula inspectors that actually do the Indy, Indy as well as the Formula One, um, there's two in particular that will be coming around inspecting everything from the welds down to electrical. They have to pass a safety and a technical inspection which are, which are big hurdles because the vehicle has to be able to perform uh, in a safe manner and has to meet all of their, their rigorous um, testing um, in order to continue in the competition. I would say it's going to be overwhelming. It is run and operated and created by the students. So it would be a tremendous thing for Ferris um, because it would show the quality of our students and it would show what they're really capable of. I do hope that it continues to be one of the uh, leading fronts of uh, the hybrid technology.